Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing fantastic. And today, yeah, we got us a battle box. But before we get into it, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Ring that notification bell so you do get notified when I upload new content. And with that, friends, let's do it. Alright, so we got us a battle box. And as you can tell, it's a battle box, but it's 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 uh definitely it's been on it's been on a diet, you know. It's, it's definitely lost a lot of weight. So we're going to check it out and see what they put in this size of a box. And if you are interested in this service, I will have a link to it in the description box of this video. They have a basic and advanced, a pro and a pro plus that you can subscribe to if you feel so inclined. And I will say this, before I get this uh, video started, this shirt's driving me crazy. I'm going to tell you why. I love this shirt because it says Southern Survival, right? Because I'm in, I live in the South, so this shirt's perfect for me. Hey, it's green, you know, like the woods. It's got battle box on the arm. But for some reason, when, I, when, I, when it went through the laundry, it went from like large to like extra medium. You can tell it's got some tightness going on. So this is probably the last time you're ever going to see me wearing this particular shirt, even though I do like it. Okay, rant over with. That's how we're starting this video. So buckle up. Okay. Okay, we're off to a good start. You can see there's a lot of items in here, which is, which is good. I was just thinking it was going to be like one thing. Oh man, Taurus. What? Okay, hang on. Alright, as always... Battle Box does not disappoint. They give you their card that says Mission Brief 96. And again, let's see, it'll focus. Please focus on that. The, these pictures, whatever, wherever they source their pictures from, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say it. They, they got some really, really pretty pictures on these on these cards. That's just really pretty. Alright. What's up, Battle Box family? February 2023 is here, and the new year's underway. Mission 96 Battle Box will add to your preps and tools for adventure. This item, uh, the items in this month's mission will come in clutch for many different scenarios in the survival and adventure space, and maybe even in actual space. Who knows what the uh, future holds, right? So let's jump ahead, which we're not going to do. We're not going to do none of that. We're just going to start pulling stuff out of this here box. And they said we're going to go to space, and they gave us a space pin. This is, uh, yeah, I guess I should let you guys see it. Okay, you can write upside down any angle, extreme temperatures. That's negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit to 250 degrees Fahrenheit, although I do suspect you're not going to be doing a whole lot of writing plus 250 degrees Fahrenheit unless you're like falling into a volcano and you're trying to scribble something on a pad for you, you know, and go up in flames. But it says you can write underwater. It says it lasts three times longer than the average pen, and you can actually write over grease. This right here is, is an awesome addition to your kit where you have your right in the rain pad. You know, the little, the little pad that has the coated paper that you can write on the rain right on it in the rain this is an awesome thing to have attached to it because yeah there you go you got a cool pad that you can ride on in the rain and you got a cool pin that you can ride on in the rain upside down any angle hanging upside down from a tree from a cliff whatever all right so that's cool and actually i don't have one of these pins so that's that's one item that you know will come in handy z zips zips this is from my medic, so I do like it because it's from my medic. I, I'm I'm a simp for my medic. I just I like their products, and yeah. So these are obvious. These are closure. Uh, cl I cannot talk today. These are closures. So if if you are into the medical preps, as you should be, you definitely know what these are, and there are two of them in this pack. And one of the things I like about my medic is. Most all their products have tear notches, which maybe those you, they'll they'll come through there. The tear notches, 
Most all their packs have tear notches and they have Ziploc, which is awesome because in in a outdoor environment, the package itself can be repurposed for some other use because it has Ziploc. It's not just a, a package that you're tearing open and then you know, the contents go everywhere or whatever, and then you, you can't do anything else you know, with the pouch. This, you can actually reseal it. So, and these closures are very, very nice to have, you know, if, if you are out somewhere and, and maybe there's an accident, you know, God forbid, hopefully no one goes through that. And you do need to pull a wound together to, you know, get it to, to stop bleeding or whatever. These, these things are awesome. If you don't know about them, I would suggest going to My Medic's website. And I believe their, their website is very simple and it's just My Medic, I'm assuming. Uh, although I do know it's, it's from another company. Oh man, there's no website on here. For real? Come on, man. Or is that super small? Okay, never mind. MyMedic.com The website is, is, is literally in the smallest print right here above the barcode that's on this pack. That's their website. Okay. Alright. Not going to be mean. Not going to be mean. Alright, so we're off to a really good start here. Okay, we got some stuff from Climate. And again, strictly because of these subscription boxes. I have been exposed to this this brand, Climate, and they, they seem to make really good stuff. I've had people comment in the comment section down below that uh, they actually use Climate's products, and they, they, they've you know, given me an endorsement of, yes, it's good stuff. So, yeah, so that just I mean, makes me feel better that now I have some of it. I know it's not, you know, garbage. Everglow Light Tube. Go anywhere inflatable camp lantern. Lightweight and flexible design offers a variety of lighting options. White LED, compatible with any USB power source. This is the extra large model. It's four, it weighs four ounces. And I don't want to open it because it has tear notches and Ziploc. I kind of want to keep the bag closed. I'll tell you what we'll do. Well, I'll set this to the side and we'll go into the book because usually in the book they have pictures you know, of, of the actual items. So we'll, we'll just see if we can kind of scope out what it is from in there, what it looks like. Utility clip, the ultimate carry solution. Multiple mounting slots for allowing up to 1.7 inch hole spacing. Patented retention system, beltless carry with 10 times the retention when compared to traditional clips. Okay. Okay. All right. But what kind of system? Maybe there's something else in here. Okay, so we got this thing called a utility clip. We'll, 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 we'll dig around in here and see if something else. Let's see if... Oh, man, I got another one of these. Which is good, all right, which is good. Because I had people comment on the last one. Because I... Well, hang on, I'll, I'll save that. I'll save that. I'll save that. Let's, let's go ahead and see what's in this Taurus box. And it's taped up. All right, let's see what what's in the Taurus box. Because when when I see Taurus, oh, it's, a, it's a knife. All right, so cool. Battle box hooked this up with a knife. Ooh, it looks like it's a really cool knife. Where did all this stuff come from? All right. Okay, so you guys ready? This is a Taurus knife. And I'm going to tell you from the picture, it looks really neat. It looks like it's going to be a knife I'm really going to like. And yes, I am going to like it. Yeah, look at that. Oh, oh, I love them scales. Oh, I love them. Full tang. Yeah, oh, very simple. Oh, very simple. Yes. I like it. Man. I like that. Those black. If, if you've never. <clears throat> Essie knives. Right. Essie knives have a lot of patterning like this on their scales. If 
everybody likes to crack on me when I, when I open knives and I say, oh, I've never, you know, seen this knife before. They're like, what? How come, how, how in the world you not ever seen that knife before? I have exposure to maybe 10 knife companies. Maybe not even that many, right? And so, you know, I'm not a knife expert, okay? I am just a fan. I am just, you know, a knife lover of, of bladed, you know, implements. And the first time I ran across scales like this on a knife was with my Essie. One of the first Essies that I got was, was a, uh, a Rowan, and it has these scales, and I love them. And if you've never had scales like this, do yourself a favor, find you a knife, or go to Essie, or Taurus. Or Taurus. I mean, there you go. And pick out this knife. We'll, we'll read about it. We'll read about it in, in the book there. Maybe it'll have some, some more in, information, because this isn't helping me at all. On the blade itself, it has T101. T101. T10. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. But we have at the uh, tail here, we do have a slit, a, a channel cut that you could run cordage through. It looks like, you, it looks almost the perfect size for, for 550 cord. So yeah, and you can get, you could get, probably one, two, three, four, maybe five passes through it. You know, if you were tying this off to make a spear, you could definitely do that. The, the grip is, is, I'm just gonna say this, and you guys can roast me in the comment section. It, the grip, is, it's an elegant grip. It, it doesn't have all these crazy, you know, cuts in it. It does have a chul here for your index, and your, the rest of your, your, your fingers fit very comfortably. You can see I have some, I have some sticking out, you know, my grip does have some does ooh yeah, that that's some that's some it's not that aggressive some jimping right here and it's probably about what probably about an inch or more maybe maybe a little bit more maybe like an inch and a quarter right here just a a good pad for your thumb so 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 you know your hold the whole pad of your thumb is, is in the texturing. It's in the jimping. So you, you, you've, you're gonna have you're gonna have control. You're gonna have really good control with this knife. Blades, you know, blades a good length. This is an awesome bushcraft knife. This would this, this would probably this would I'm gonna say would make an awesome bushcraft knife. Uh, the sheath, nothing nothing really special. It's just a uh, just a leather job. Don't say nothing. I, I just, I want to smell it. I want to smell it. We do have a belt loop. We've got a belt loop and then we have some straps. Very simple. Nothing flashy, nothing fancy. And you know, hey, at the end of the day, you don't need it. You just need something to be functional and something that will work. This knife appears to, it has, it has a lot of meat, like for thickness. And I'm pretty sure in the book we'll get, we'll get some breakdown there. But you can see it's got a good thickness. But the thickness it does not make the knife cumbersome. So there is a very fine medium there. There is, there is a definite, you know, happy spot for blade thickness, weight, versus the knife not losing its usefulness or not being burdensome by being too heavy. Because I have, I have some knives that are not too much bigger than this. Uh, I have one knife that's that's very very thick and it's very heavy. It's the B I got it's the uh, BK the BK1. And if you're a knife if you're a knife person, you know what the BK1 is and you know that that's a tank of a knife. That's a knife that's that's made to to do seriously extreme stuff. Okay. The the Zippo the Zippo hatchet saw mini axe hammer concoction okay if you if if you're new to the channel thank you for being here and welcome 
But I got this in a box a while ago, and I meant to do a video on it, a fo like a follow-up video, because I was just talking about this thing, and, and one of my criticisms was that I would like, I like the idea of a tool like this. Okay, I really do. I like the idea of it because it, it seems very useful. Again, this is taking a tool and fitting as many functions in it as possible. Generally, I'm not a fan because generally it's, it's doing a lot of things poorly and I would prefer to do less things, you know, masterfully right masterfully but this does seem to accomplish the goals it sets out you do have a striker here so you can use this as, as kind of like a hammer a striking tool it does have an axe blade so this is a uh, you know a hatchet not going to call it a proper axe because of the length let's just call this a like a pack hatchet right and i know pack hatchets generally are smaller but this is this is on the larger side, but this will definitely give you a good amount of, of you know, of force, you know, to, to do whatever kind of processing you need to do. My criticism was when you, because when you, when you use the axe part, and there's zip ties and all this kind of stuff, I don't want to bust this thing apart, but my criticism was storing the blade, because this is something I had never had any experience with before. Now, in the other video, I did have people tell me, and as soon as I stopped the video and got done with the video, I grabbed this thing and went outside and I started messing with it. And yes, the blade does store in the handle. So you do have a way to, to store the blade away. Because my thing was, well, I would like to put this on my pack, right? But I don't want the blade. I need a place to put the blade. And when I first just kind of looked at this thing and opened it up, I didn't think you could store the blade. But you can store the blade. So I'm glad I finally get around to, to get to make that correction that, yes, the blade does store into the handle. So with that being said, okay, from my criticisms of it when I first saw it, those are, those are gone. <clears throat> I think this is a very useful tool the only thing would be the replacement blades because since this is a Zippo branded product, I don't know if this is something that Zippo has just branded and it's remade by other people and you can get this, this blade. But I do know on Zippo's website because after I did film the video and I actually did some research on this, you can buy just the blade. And I think the blade was around, I want to say, I want to say 12 12 to like 15 bucks, I think, for the blade, which isn't bad for a replacement blade, as long as the blade, you know, is, is, a good, is of a somewhat decent quality and you do get a lot of use out of it. So, you know, the mileage is going to be what it's going to be on the blade. That's for you to find out as a user or me, and that ultimately is going to be whatever you think about it. And then also this whatever composite material this is, how good it does hold up to the strikes if it cracks or if it breaks, you know, whatever. So yes, anyway, I'm glad to have been able to kind of go over that because I felt bad. I felt bad levying criticisms against this, you know, in the video and then not being able to, to uh, when I walked outside with it, I'm like, oh wow, when I broke it apart and started messing with it, I'm like, oh wow, the blade, the blade does store in the handle. And then I'm like, oh man, I feel bad. But anyway. It's a, good, it's a good tool. How about that? Okay, so in the basic box, and I'm going to tell you, the, I, I've noticed this with a lot of these subscri subscription companies. They're not putting valuations anymore. They stopped putting valuations on their products. I don't like that. Even though I know sometimes, you know, sometimes I get lied to, and, you know, you guys catch them in their little lies, and it's okay. I just, I like having the valuations. Okay, so in the basic box, which will be what? What's the basic box? 35 bucks plus shipping and handling. You would have got the pin. You would have got the zips. The closures, I mean. And you would have got the utility clip. 
Let's read about this utility clip, shall we? Let me put my let me put my eyes on here. U utility clip three. Let's face it: the vast majority of clips found on knife, sheaths, and firearm holsters simply do not perform well. That's not true. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to disagree. I use uh, I use the the uh, clip system from. Oh. See, I don't like being on the spot because my mind goes blank every single time. From tacticalholsters.com, G code. I use G codes. You know, they, they do have kind of a proprietary type system. You know, kind of like Safari Land, they do the same thing. And I'm going to tell you something. Well, even I'm going to give them props Safari Land or G code. You're not going to have problems with the retention on those, those holsters. Because I use mine, I don't have, I don't have, I've never had a, had an issue with, I've never had an issue with that, with the clipping, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I don't, yeah. Okay, it says the utility clip provides a solution to this issue with several products, including this one. It says you can ditch the clips found on most holsters and knife sheaves. So this clip is actually meant for you, and they do give you the screws and the, the little attachments there to... You know, if you can if you can remove, obviously not from something like this, but if you had like a Kydex, if you had a Kydex uh, sheath, then yeah, it gives you it gives you slots here that you can you can just replace the screws, and they give you they give you all the hardware, so you could just replace it and, and put this on, and it says that this thing is is the Jamie Jam. I will have to check it out because, I mean, they, they're really hyping this thing. You know, this is the greatest clip ever. Everything else sucks. So I'll be curious to see if that's true. We'll have to try that out. Okay, and this is something I did want to see, the Climate Light Glow. Okay, it's not a, what did it say it was? It said it say, I thought it said it was like a, a lantern. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but when you hear the word lantern, I'm thinking, I'm thinking lantern, right, like lantern. This thing is a, a light tube. I'll leave it there for a second. Hopefully it'll focus. But yeah, look how long that thing is. That, that's, that's really cool. That's really neat. Because you could string it up, you know, kind of like this lady, this, this chick here, has it, has it, uh, she has it strung up. But that looks like an awning or something. So that might be like a, that might be some, some glampers, right? Some people like me. Gonna go out in an RV. We're gonna go out in an RV with a with the awning and all, all that good stuff. Okay. And you know the normal stuff that's right on the pack. It's it's easy to use. Blah blah blah. It's diffusing LED. It charges with a USB power bank. Yeah. Okay. So we got it. All right. So that thing that thing's really neat. Okay. That thing looks like it, it's it's kind of cool. And it's made by Climate, which people have attested, have gave some testimonial to that they're a good company. Okay, so, uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. The climate, this thing would have been added in the advanced box. So, the advanced box, you stepped up to 65 bucks. You would have got everything else plus this, or everything else that we went through. The pro box adds the Zippo, the Axol. Okay, so we have a 5 inch full tang, four, uh, 420 stainless steel axe head. <laughs> We have a durable polymer handle with saw blade storage. If that was on the last one, I'm really going to be mad. If they said that in the last one and I just didn't see it. Anyway, 15 inch hardened stainless steel saw blade. Uh, drive tent stakes easily with the full tang head, which is, which is right here, which is awesome. Uh, you know, that, that's really a, a really great idea. If, if you're driving tent stakes or anything like that, this, is, this would be the perfect the perfect thing to do that with. So yeah, this axe saw from Zippo, and, and in the last video that I actually opened this thing, originally the first one that I got, I, you know, I said, I, I'm a, I, I love Zippo. You know, I, I'm a big fan of Zippo lighters. I kind of collect them, and yeah, so there we go. If you haven't got this, if you're looking for an axe, saw, hatchet, mallet, multi-tool, check it out. Okay, finally, we step up to the Pro plus box for 170 
you're getting all this goodness right here plus the Taurus knife. No price. Okay, and they're saying, that's right, my personal favorite. Okay, a fixed blade with a leather sheath. This is the Taurus Torino. T-O-U-R-E-I-R-O. To uh, whatever. That, that, what I, what I just said that. It says it's ready to work. It says it's nine and a quarter inches overall. It features a four inch razor sharp D2 satin blade finish with durable textured G10 scales. And the scales, of course, have that cool contour for comfort and grip, which is awesome. Full tang, 90 degree spine. Uh, the shell, the, uh, the uh, sheath is made from top grain leather and can be attached to your belt vertically or, hor or for horizontal carry. Scout carry. It says it's, you know, very nice and balanced very well, and I'll agree. In the hand, it feels very nice. It doesn't, you know, it feels, it feels very balanced in your hand. And it says it's built for abuse. All right. D2 steel. There you go. And like I said, we're in this for 170. 170, what do you guys think? And I tell you what, if you're interested in the space pen, use code EDCBB for 20% off. So if you, if you do want to scoop up the space pen for your right in the rain pad to, to go in your pack, in, in your gear, your bug out bag or whatever, or your get home bag, or your, uh, hey, we're up to some kind of creek without a means of locomotion pack, uh, get you one of these. But when you do it, make sure you go to spacepin.com and hey, check out, use that code, man. Get you 20% off. There you go. Okay, so what are my thoughts for 170? I would say this probably is going to be, I would say, at 170. I would say we probably came out even. I'm not going to say that like we went way uh, above and beyond the value because this knife could be easily I mean this knife could be in the 70, 80 dollar range I, and I don't recall because I did look up, I did do some research on this Zippo on this axe but I don't remember how much it cost I cannot for the life of me remember and I don't want to say anything wrong but let's just say it's 50, 60 bucks. And then the space pen, I have absolutely no idea how much these things cost. Maybe 10, 15 bucks maybe. If that, I, I, I have no idea. I don't know how much the climate light lantern is. I mean, it could be, I don't know, it could be 20 bucks maybe. And the, the two zips are probably 10 bucks, maybe more. And then this, 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 the uh, apparently the greatest utility clip ever made in the world is probably a hundred bucks. I don't know. So there, there you go. I, I'm gonna say that it's a wash. I'm gonna say that I, I, I don't feel ripped off. I feel like I'm good. I'm good. This was a good value. I think. I think you know the, the mere fact that we got very, very useful item. Very, very useful item. Very useful, very useful, kind of useful, you know, will we'll have a use to, yeah, okay, all right. I'm not, I'm not going to deal with some company's vanity telling me that their product's the greatest and everything else stinks. But, yes, that's what we got. So, yeah. Man, this shirt is really, is really, mm, this shirt's killing me. I can't believe it because like before I washed it I was so excited for this shirt because it said Southern Survival I was so excited and then like I washed and it it you know it, it shrunk to fit me like 30 years ago so yeah okay so you guys tell me in the comment section down below what do you guys think about this box for 170 this is the Pro Plus so this is their this is their big this is their bigger box I think we did okay I think we did okay I'm happy. Anyway, if you made it this far and listened to me ramble, thank you. I greatly appreciate it. You are an MVP. So, let me know what you, what you got to think. You know, what you think about this. And, and definitely, 
uh, like I said, I'm glad I was able to make the correction on the Zippo pack axe because, yeah, my main criticism and drawback with this was the fact that the, you couldn't store the blade. When I found that you could store the blade, it felt like an idiot, but that's just how it goes. All right, I'll put some stuff up here for you. If you made it this far, thank you. I uh, greatly appreciate you. Looking forward to seeing you in the comment section down below. Whatever on your mind, hit me up. Let me know. And with that, hope you're doing well, and we will see you next time. Peace.